Hi, it's the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your October 2016 mid-month readings. I am using the Gilded Tarot deck by artist Cyril Marchetti, and even though we're exploring the remainder of October 2016, uh, rather than the entire month. I'm still going to be using the same eight card spread with an additional ninth card as your crowning card, representing overall energy and advice for the readings. As we always say, they're general readings and they uh, are not going to resonate um, for everyone. I mean, there's thousands of you watching, so how could they possibly? Uh, you're all very different and have different things going on in your lives. So make sure to check your rising and your moon sign as well. Um, if you're like me, you may find that each of your three signs, sun, moon, and rising, um, give you different pieces of the puzzle of, of what's going on in your lives playing forward. So watch all three to get as clear and cohesive a picture as possible of the time frame I had. Um, if this is your primary sun sign, this video is for Sagittarius. If Sagittarius is your primary sun sign, uh, you may find that this uh, reading resonates for you perhaps in areas of work or public life, and your rising or your moon sign may resonate for you more in the arena of your, your personal life. Just try to watch all three if you can um, to get as much information as possible. Thank you, always thank you to those of you who continue to watch and listen and follow and like and share and subscribe. Welcome to any of you that may be new. I thank you so very much for all your support and feedback and comments. Uh, you guys are brilliant with the comments. Keep them coming. It's like uh, reading different chapters of the books of different people's lives, um, both the ones that you place on my YouTube channel videos and the ones that some of you take the time to send via email. I love reading how the specifics of the the readings play out in your lives. Thank you so much for taking the time to share those with me. And thank you uh, for those of you who continue to reach out for one-on-one -on -one readings. Uh, I always say it's an honor and a pleasure to read for you, and I'm very grateful for the trust that you place in me to interpret and intuit the cards for you. Um, personal one-on-one -on -one readings are my favorite things to do, and I appreciate each and every opportunity uh, to read for you. Thank you to my regular clients as well uh, for allowing me to be a consistent part of your lives playing forward, and thank you for the uh, updates that you continue to send me on how those readings uh, are unfolding in your life. So... And if any of you are interested in a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me and you've not read with me before, you can click on the little About button on my YouTube channel's homepage, which will give you a little more information and detail and my contact information and email address. You can email me directly at maggie, the number one, mcguire at gmail.com. I would be delighted to do a reading with you if you are interested. I do readings full-time six days a week, so I'm able to get back with you pretty quickly and set up something uh, within a pretty timely fashion. Current turnaround time is anywhere from uh, two or three days up to a week and a half to two weeks, but almost always within two weeks we can schedule something for you. So send me an email if you're interested and we will coordinate something. So enough of that, let's move right along. This video is for Sagittarius for October 2016, mid-month. God, spirit, angels, guide, show me the energies for the fire sign of Sagittarius for the remainder of October 2016. What do they need to know? What do they need to see? What do they need to hear to help them navigate through the remainder of October 2016? Guidance, feedback, advice, and any messages from spirit for the fire sign of Sagittarius regarding the remainder of October 2016. What does the rest of October have in store for our Sagittarians? Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. We begin with the Ten of Wands, followed by the Three of Swords. The World, followed by the Ten of Swords. Looks like you guys have been through something pretty painful and challenging, but boy, you are really triumphing over it. We have the Five of Wands paired with the Ace of Pentacles, New Beginnings, the Three of Cups, Celebration with the King of Wands. There you are, good friends too. From the bottom of the deck, your crowning card representing overall energy is the Ace of Cups. What a great reading, Sagittarius. It makes me wish one of my signs were in Sagittarius for this month. My month is a little more contemplative than this. 
you have two aces, two uh, new beginnings, one of them very concrete and tangible and one of them emotional. Some of you may be uh, finding new love and romance this month with that ace of cups, uh, but beginning something, new pathways, which uh, are making you uh, very happy because it can also represent new emotional beginnings. Um, some of you may be moving and some of you may be starting a new job as well. Definitely getting over heartache, heartbreak, and betrayal as well. A sense of kind of having triumph over something which caused a lot of heartbreak. I feel quite challenging on an emotional level recently. For some of you, this could be very recent that you're getting over. And for some of you, this could be um, coming to the end of a long path of healing and recovery. Okay, let's begin. I actually want to start with your crowning card. I feel led to. Uh, your crowning card is beautiful. We have the Ace of Cups, Sagittarius. So Cups is governed by the element of water. It's all about that fluid, mercurial world of feelings, emotions, relationships, and love. Aces are the ones. They represent seeds, promise, potential, new beginnings, uh, the start of a new pathway. So the Ace of Cups for some of you, this is overall energy over the remainder of October 2016, over the next couple of weeks. Uh, new emotional beginnings, you're starting something new, which uh, has you feeling very happy and giving you, I feel kind of a sense of renewed hope and optimism. And it has the potential to play out even better uh, to kind of, well, the Ace of Cups always has the potential to play out through the road of the Tarot to the Ten of Cups, which is all of your emotional cups being filled. For some of you, this is going to represent uh, new love and romance. The Ace of Cups can represent finding somebody new, beginning a new relationship, meeting somebody new and being in kind of those, the first uh, throes of, uh, of uh, new romantic love and romantic interest, uh, that place in the path when you've just met someone recently, you're building a relationship and it's very exciting and fresh and new and lovely. However, it plays out specifically for you Sagittarians who are watching. Overall energy over the remainder of October 2016 is new beginnings that are making you feel um, very, very happy bright, hopeful, enthusiastic, optimistic is what I'm getting. And it feels like kind of hard won and a long time coming too. Um, we have the combination to begin with of the Ten of Wands followed by the Three of Swords. <coughs> Excuse my coughing, Sagittarius. I'm just at the tail end of a cold. So the Ten of Wands. Wands is governed by the element of fire. It's a very fiery, active, action-oriented suit. It's all about creating, building, manifesting. It rules change, movement, action, power. It's forward moving. The Ten of Wands. Tens represent the end of a cycle, the culmination or coming full circle of something. You have two tens here. You have the Ten of Wands, the Ten of Swords. You also have the World card, which is a card of completion as well. Um, so the Ten of Wands represents coming to the end of a burden of some kind. Uh, and I always feel like it's kind of long standing. Like he started off with only one or two wands, then he picked up another one and another one, and gradually it just became this, this burden that's so heavy that he can't even stand up straight. He's completely bowed over by the weight of it. It can represent um, the completion of a long path, which has just required a lot of work and struggle, like graduation from college or um, retirement or... Um, having worked for something for a long time and coming to the end of that in a positive way. Uh, it can represent, um, it's a positive completion anyway, because it represents too that, that if, if the burden that you've been carrying has been something, you know, painful, difficult to deal with, or even unhealthy, it represents your coming to the end of it. You can see that this man's head is up and he is looking at whatever his destination is, just right over here. He's reached the end. Home is in sight. That place where he can uh, lay these uh, wands down and stand up and take a deep breath. You're coming to, um, your a cycle is ending for you, Sagittarius. And I feel like uh, the source of that heaviness, that burden that you've been carrying, um, is represented by the card that accompanies it, which is the Three of Swords. So swords is a suit that's governed by the element of air, and it's all about um, 
uh, the world of what goes on up in our head. It's about ideas, words, um, ideals, thoughts, mental outlooks, perspectives, perceptions, our belief system. It's about how we think. It's very mental and cerebral uh, suit, and it rules uh, mental cerebral things in our lives, our thoughts and how we think about things. The Three of Swords is... Um, often referred to as the heartbreak card. It is a card that represents a deep sense of emotional uh, pain. It can represent a uh, deep loss, uh a heartbreak, heartache. It can represent heartbreak as a result of, uh, of, of betrayal. It can represent uh, emotional pain from betrayal. Sometimes this card comes up in relationships when there's been issues of infidelity or cheating because there is a triangular energy to this. However it plays out for you because it's a general reading, it's going to be different for everybody. Heartbreak, deep emotional pain, betrayal, a loss of some kind. And you're coming to the end of it uh, uh, in the over the course of the next few weeks as October kind of proceeds and draws to an end, you're coming to the end of it. And I feel like for a lot of you, this is a um, coming to the end of a healing process. Again, for some of you, this can represent uh, finally getting over um, a painful breakup in a love and romance uh, relationship. It could be getting over a painful breakup or separation or estrangement in a relationship that's not romance-based, a best friend or family. Um, for some of you, I mean, we do have two cups here. We have uh, four wands here too, which is career project inspiration. For some of you, uh, pentacles too. For some of you, this can represent coming to the end of a job which you have really struggled with or had a really difficult time with. Uh, you're leaving the job. Some of you may be retiring. Uh, but the Ten of Wands paired with the Three of Swords, you're coming to the end of something which is, has been the source of, of stress, heartbreak. For some of you, a sense of betrayal even. But again, you're coming to the end of that. It's been a burden that you're going to be laying down. I feel like a lot of you, this is uh, the energy of this healing process coming to the end of this has actually been taking quite a while. But for some of you, it could be something that's happened in the not too recent past. But it's a beautiful card of, of coming to the end of it. Now, next to that, we have a, another combination of cards that, that echoes that same energy. We have uh, the world card paired with the ten of swords. So the world is 21, the highest number in the tarot deck. It represents uh, a sense of completion too, a sense of success kind of being on top of the world. But, but that feeling, the, the, the foundation of the, that sense of completion you're feeling is about something you've accomplished from the past. So something coming to an end and, and finding that you have um, come to the end of it in, with a deeper sense of self-awareness, self-acknowledgement and self-empowerment. Of, of having struggled and triumphed and uh, successfully made it through. And it's right next to this Ten of Wands, which is uh, the same energy. And, and this is a, a stronger echo of that because it's Major Arcana card. This, this man who's been carrying this Ten of Wands too, it's been a very heavy burden or the healing process has been very difficult, but he's been he's he's carried these wands successfully. He's he's seen it through. The world card again represents um, it, it's a card of a culmination of something too, a sense of a very strong sense of achievement, um, which is about completion from something from the past. Um, the analogy I like to use for the world card is that you've climbed a mountain and you've reached the top of it. You're at the pinnacle. And um, not to say that there's not other mountains in life to climb. Uh, there's lots of mountains that we have to climb in life. But this one has been of particular significance and you've made it up to the top. And you've just realized actually that you've made it, how far you've come. It's a sense of of self-acknowledgement, of taking the time to, to experience some um, really how strong you are, how much you've done, how far you've come. Uh, the foundation upon which you stand is based on completion of something from the past. And now it's paired with the Ten of Swords. It's like you've got these three cards right in this 
the first grouping of four that all represent this sense of, of finality, the sense of completion. That world card is paired with the Ten of Swords, which is, and it's right next to the Three of Swords too. It's, you know, this heartbreak, heartache, betrayal, this, this sense of loss or tragedy. Uh, the Ten of Swords is a card of, of betrayal, of uh, feeling stabbed in the back, as you can see the way that um, uh, the image is laid out in this card. Um, and it, but it also represents that the worst is over and um, the healing process, you've been, you're going through the healing process. It's not, the worst is over. It's never going to get this bad again. Again, you're coming to the end of it. Um, this sense of achievement, this sense of having made it through, what you've made it through, again, the specifics are going to play out differently, but the energy is through, is the, the energy remains the same. You suffered some kind of heartbreak, heartache, betrayal, loss, uh, a sense of being stabbed in the back uh, by somebody close to you that you trusted. For some of you, even in work career environment, this can represent um, a job or career situation where you feel um, perhaps you were uh, betrayed at work or you were promised things which didn't pan out or... Um, uh, you know, you're coming to the end of that, you're leaving that. It could represent leaving a job or leaving a career path that you found, you know, ultimately dissatisfying and unfulfilled, unfulfilling, but also this strong sense of betrayal, this uh, sensation of being stabbed in the back. But the beauty of that is that the worst is over. The, there's this beautiful healing light that's coming down and shining through these swords onto this man. Whatever happened to put this man face down in the ground, whatever the situation was for you, Sagittarius, that looks so incredibly painful and hurtful. Um, it was unexpected, but it's over. Um, whatever happened to put this man face down in the ground, it's over. You can see that the sun is rising in the background. A new day is dawning. The animals are beginning to return to the scene. A healing light is shining down and through whatever this heartbreak and heartache and betrayal was onto this man. Again, um, it's a it's a beautiful energy. I'm sorry to see the that you even went through something like this um, in the recent past. I mean, these two cards together represent a lot of pain, a lot of heartbreak, a, a shocking sense of betrayal, whether it's love and romance or betrayal of a friend or family member or a boss or a job situation. Um, We could get even more concrete than that. We do have the Ace of Pentacles, which sometimes represents moving, relocating, uh, beginning a new job, uh, ending employment. Perhaps you were fired or fired unjustly or unfairly. Uh, perhaps some of you are moving or getting into a new home or a new place uh, after you've lost your last one. Um, Again, the specifics are going to be different, but the energy is the same. You are overcoming it, um, going through the healing period and a sense of achievement and completion of having triumphed over something in the past that was very painful and difficult for you. And almost it, it's, it's almost a sense of defiant, um, I'm almost getting a sense, uh, this feeling of defiant triumph. It's like they tried their heart, their hardest to put me down and I almost, I almost gave up. Um, you know, it almost killed me, but I didn't. I made it through and I'm stronger and wiser and better for it. It's just a beautiful kind of empowering energy, even though it stems from something that seems very painful for you. So good for you, Sagittarius. Lovely fire energy there, shining right through. So next to that, we have the Five of Wands paired with the Ace of Pentacles. New beginnings. So you've made it through this period and you're going into new beginnings and your overall card too, that Ace of Cups, some of you, um, the final uh, process in, a, in healing from a very painful broken relationship in the past is new love and new ro romance. Um, you've uh, connected with somebody and you've begun a new relationship that's kind of been the final important piece of healing from a, a negative experience in the past. There is a... a a smaller potential for this Ace of Cups overall to, rep to represent or, or resonate as reconciliation energy from uh, a painful breakup or betrayal in the past. Um, it, it can represent healing from that, maybe the person coming back and starting kind of anew. But I feel like if uh, 
that is maybe just a literally just a handful of you. For others, it's new love and new romance, but new emotional beginnings. Um, it's like you've closed the final door on something. So we have the Five of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. So the Five of Wands can represent, um, it can represent a couple of different things. Uh, it can represent conflict, um, petty conflict and strife, internal conflict, uh, petty squabblings with people going around and around and around and around. It, it, nobody ever winning and nobody ever losing. It can also represent becoming better at something uh, through practice, which is what the men on this card are doing. You can see these five men are, are in a circle and they're sparring with each other. Uh, nobody's out for blood. They're practice weapons. They are actually competing against each other in a sense. This can be a card that represents competition as well, but they're all actually engaged in doing the same thing um, with the intent and goal to improve and enhance their skills. So it can be a card of actually working with a group of other people in a competitive environment, but competitive in a positive way where the whole underlying reason is to get better at something. And that's paired with the ace of, and I'm feeling more of that energy than like negative competition or conflict and strife. Um, because it's paired with the Ace of Pentacles, especially considering the other cards surrounding it. It's paired with the Ace of Pentacles. <coughs> Excuse me. So Pentacles is a suit that's governed by the element of Earth. So it rules things in our earthly, material, tangible world. It often points to things like money, finances, property, resources, job, career, etc. Tangible things in our day-to-day, -day, what we can see world. Aces, again, are that one's potential promise, the seeds of something. So the Ace of Pentacles, um, I sometimes call it the moving card because it comes up frequently when people move or relocate. Uh, some of you may be moving to a new apartment or a new home. Uh, some of you may be relocating uh, for work. Um, for some of you, this is going to represent a new job, a new career path of some kind, particularly paired with that Five of Wands, uh, which is a card which has the energy of, of work working with other people in a competitive but friendly environment, everybody's kind of getting better, um, could be sports related too as well. It's, it's about beginning, new beginnings in a tangible, concrete sort of see, touch, and feel way. Uh, new jobs, new uh, creative projects, um, a new home, but there's a, a we feeling about it, especially paired with that five of wands. You're not alone in this. It feels like you're having this new beginning within a group of people. For some of you, again, I'm, I'm getting new job, new career path. You're moving, joining an organization of some kind. Um, and for for those of you for whom it's job, uh, in dollars and cents, it, it, it has the initial look uh, of success and prosperity and abundance, but it's, it's more about the potential of what it can grow into. It can grow into something quite lovely. The Ace of Pentacles can also represent a tangible gift as well. So for some of you, I, again, I'm just getting right now the strong job and career thing but with a group of people or beginning a new project of some kind or, or joining an organization with a group of people perhaps who have the same interests and you're getting learning more getting better some of you this may be starting a new course of learning uh, with a group of people because there is a strong we feeling about it and looking at the next combination of cards it could also, uh, this new move, represent those of you for whom this represents moving. Um, you're really happy about it. We've caught that Ace of Cups as your crowning card, but that Five of Wands uh, represents, um, could represent your family, um, people perhaps you're going in together on a home or, or buying a building for the purpose of something else I'm getting. Anyway, I rely on your feedback, uh, how, it, how it relates specifically to those of you watching. So at or towards the end of October 2016, Sagittarius, we have the Three of Cups and the King of Wands, your beautiful energy here. So the Three of Cups, it's right next to this Five of Wands too, this group of five men kind of sparring in a friendly way, getting better at something. The Three of Cups is a card of celebration, emotional happiness, but it, it, it represents um, that, that happiness uh, and, and social energy and fun comes from being with a group of people um, 
like finally finding the, the right group of friends that you finally fit in with, kind of your kindred spirits in terms of friendships and job and career can represent beginning, especially from that Ace of Pentacles and Five of Wands, you're beginning a new job uh, uh, and your work environment is really great. You love the people that you work with. You fit in really well. For others of you, whatever this new beginning is, perhaps you're beginning a new creative project or artistic endeavor or... I just got nonprofits starting up some kind of nonprofit organization or joining a group where everybody's kind of oriented on the same thing, but it represents a sense of fun and enjoyment uh, that comes from being with people that you feel really connected with, um, kind of finding your home base socially. Uh, so lovely celebratory energy, strong social theme, uh, people getting together, having a good time, celebrating as well. And it's paired with the King of Wands, which I'm feeling primarily is your energy, fire sign. Uh, the King of Wands also, I'm getting, now I'm getting kind of creative endeavors or creative projects. I got this thing about buying a, something about buying property or buying a business for a nonprofit, like some kind of nonprofit organization or a, let me sort it out here. Some of you have gone in, this must be specifically oriented towards a handful of people. Some of you have gone in together with a group of people or investors, like-minded kindred spirits and have bought a piece of property, a building of some kind with the intent of using it as a, as a base for some kind of nonprofit organization, something that helps people in some way. That's really interesting. Um, however it works out, whatever this new beginning is that have you that has you that has the potential to play out uh, quite well in a tangible, concrete way, it also represents new emotional beginnings uh, for some of you. Um, well, new emotional beginnings for everybody, really. <clears throat> However it plays out for you specifically, you're in it with a group of other people and they feel like kind of kindred spirit people. You connect really well. It's like you found your home base and you're kind of coming into your own um, at the end of that uh, as yourself, this king of wands, fire sign, uh, as the, the king of wands would be fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. For others of you, this can represent... Um, uh, this could represent another person in your sphere who's playing a primary role or uh, a significant influencing factor, somebody that you're partnering with. Um, uh, it could be uh, somebody that you've connected with that you feel it could be like soulmate, kindred spirit, but especially for those of you for whom are finding a new love, new romance, beginning a new relationship. Um, this month, it could be with another fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Uh, kings and queens represent older, more mature, reflective individuals because they've reached the mastery of their suit. So he's a very fiery, passionate, action-oriented individual. Um, in, in artistic and creative projects, it can represent kind of artistic genius um, and, a, and a real sense of success based on creativity. And again, I'm getting that for some of you um, with a group of other people. You're beginning a new creative endeavor and project and some of you it's it's some kind of forming a non-profit organization that's oriented towards helping people somehow and that's how you end the month um, with people that you feel very connected with kind of a group of kindred spirits um, all oriented together on this new path this new beginning uh, a new course of learning for some of you. Some of you have joined a group or an organization or a school of some kind and the atmosphere and the people that you're with are just, you feel really happy. Everybody's just kind of on the same page. Um, it's interesting. I've got three or four different stories uh, circulating through my head, so I hope this isn't coming out too scattered. It feels a little scattered, but lovely energy. It's like the first half of the reading is all about, I've overcome this. I've I'm finally closing the last chapter on this, this very deep, challenging, 
pain and, and heartbreak and, and betrayal I've been through, coming out on top of that, um, wiser, stronger, better, more empowered, new beginnings, new beginnings, perhaps in love, relationships, friendships as well, um, feeling very emotionally happy, kind of at the beginning of this renewed hope and optimism. Uh, there's concrete new beginnings too, new job, new home, um, new projects uh, for some of you. Um, you're in there with a group of people that you feel really good with, you feel really connected with. Um, good friendship feeling uh, too, coming into your own at the King of Wands and you may be, uh, have another primary significant fire sign in your life with you on this at the end of the month as well, another Leo Aries Sagittarius. Um, really beautiful, bright reading, fresh. Again, I'm just getting this like re sense of renewed hope, faith and optimism too. So you have to let me know what these new beginnings are. I'm quite curious about it too, particularly for those of you for whom, you know, I, I don't know if I'm getting it all right, but that whole sort of nonprofit joining a new group or some of you I have purchased a building for some kind of nonprofit purchase uh, or uh, not for some kind of nonprofit purpose of some kind so um, for those of you for whom that resonates message me and let me know exactly what that's about because it's it feels quite lovely so Sagittarius, that represents kind of the remainder of October for you. I hope you've enjoyed the reading. I hope it hasn't confused you too much. It's a lovely, bright uh, energy and good for you for having triumphed over what looks to be, um, have been uh, uh, some recent um, or even not so recent pain and, and challenges. It looks like you have pulled through absolutely beautifully and uh, you're back in your fiery power again. So thank you very much for watching Sagittarius and again if any of you are interested in a personal one-on-one -on -one reading just click on that little about button on my YouTube channel's homepage and you can email me directly at maggie the number one mcguire at gmail.com. I would be delighted to work with you. I will see you all again in a couple of weeks for the November 2016 general readings. Can you believe it's almost November already? And until I do, as always, Sagittarius, I wish you joy, peace, blessings, and a happy life, and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.